75 years of time, or any length of time you wanted to have. And you would naturally, as you began on this adventure of dreams, you would fulfill all your wishes. You would have every kind of pleasure. And after several nights of 75 years of total pleasure each, you would say, well, wow, that's pretty great. But now let's, um, let's have a surprise. Let's have a dream which is done. have a dream which isn't under
Some might move in away from the 
Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching tonight, today, depends where you are in the world. Um, you were like thousands and thousands uh, listening to uh, the amazing live of Inelea. You were a lot to ask uh, some questions. I won't be able to ask all the questions. We will put on the in the live stream the one we selected. Uh, first of all, thank you so much for today. How do you feel? Uh, first of all, thank you. <laughs> thank you. I feel very amazed now after all amazing view that everything worked out with the technique after some issues some stress <laughs> yeah. i'm super satisfied glad to be here super thankful and just happy cool now you we can relax right <laughs> uh so first question from from steve how long uh, did you prepare this live set um do you hear me now for the mic was off oh the mic was off yeah but now it's on i guess hope now it's It's, It's on. on. All right. So the, yeah. Okay. So um, I prepared the live set. So basically, I went to India without knowing that I really played a circle. <laughs> It was very last minute. <laughs> yeah. So I made it in five days. I started completely new in a hotel in Goa, <laughs> and yeah. That's But it, it worked out, and sometimes it's nice to have the pressure. Yeah, exactly. To work did you more sleep? <laughs> Less than usual, but I did, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. Um, what was your first impression when you arrived here at uh, Jessima Fort? It's insane. It's another world, especially for us. We're from Europe. We're not used to this kind of old, amazing forts. Um, I, I was speechless. Look at the view. It's, it's history. Crazy. Yeah, totally agree. And I think it's one of the only living forts in the world. Maybe we have another one in France called Carcassonne, but... Uh, it's it's there are not so many living for like with pe actual people living on the fort so it's crazy yeah, I think for insane. this I read on your post that you have like a very deep connection with India a very special connection um, which cities have you visited so far and which one is your favorite okay so I've been to Delhi Bangalore Hyderabad Goa Pune um, I hope I haven't forgot one Um, Jaisalmer. Jaisalmer, yeah, <laughs> Jodhpur. <laughs> no, I've been to a few cities, but I think uh, the city where I spent the most time in was Goa. I like the mo mood there. It's very chilled, beach, mm. relaxed. But I also liked, I was once staying one week in uh, a place close to Bangalore at Nandi Hills. It's nature and it was a small village. I was staying there for one week and it was also insane. Whoa. It's nice to see... People are so grateful without having that much that we are used to in Europe. And that's what I love so much in India. Yeah, totally yeah. That's, understand you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, if you had to choose one track that fits really well with India, one of your tracks, mm -hmm. which one would it be? Mm. I think today I thought definitely that the new remix I did for Pada Fakuva fits very nice. Yes. With yes. the ethnic mood and the break. Yeah, it's this one. Yeah, this one is really, really nice. And people really, uh, was, like, were reacting a lot oh, to cool. this one. Yeah. Nice. But now tell me more uh, about you and your music. Um, what's the one thing that you are glad you'll never have to do again as an artist? It's a bit of a difficult question. Hmm. Creating an Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's social media is... You don't really, really like social media? I mean, I do it a lot. And uh, during the pandemic, I did it so much that now I'm a little bit annoyed of it. But also, I'm addicted. I feel it. And this is something that I kind of try to get away a little bit from. Or yeah. have more structure in it so that I'm not always on my phone. 
Yeah, and on your phone, like clicking on Instagram just yeah, to check. Just <laughs> It's to good. check. And yeah, I have the same. Yeah. <laughs> um, I feel that your music is uh, uh, inspired in some way by uh, rock. Um, do you, which kind of? Um, I think that the Strokes won the yeah. the, the Grammy yesterday. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah. um, I mean the rock album. Which which uh, artist do you uh, actually listen to in the rock? industry music industry um i listen to a lot of rock artists so you're right with your guess um but i could say back in the days most of the time i was listening to pink floyd mm. uh, grateful dead i liked a lot also of course like jimmy hendrix all this 70s music i was really into it and i'm still listening the most hmm it's hard to say yeah i would say grateful dead the most Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and now speaking about producing tracks, when you produce that tracks, do you use more your head or your heart? Heart. <laughs> yeah, because I'm, I'm a fan of working fast and capture the moment, like capture the feelings in the specific moment. Mm. And this is for me way more important than technical, uh, technical parts of it. Like mixing afterwards, first try to catch the moment, and that's why I like like to work fast and capture this moment. <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Yeah. Like a snapshot. And so now I'm, I'm asking some questions from the online audience. How many tracks do you, did you create during the lockdown? Question from John. Um, I think in the beginning I was productive. I made, like, let's say 10 or 12. But now I... Up. Now I did two remixes, but no mm. originals at the moment. That's that's a lot. 14 tracks yeah, is a lot. Yeah. <laughs> so next question uh, goes with the first one. Mohit, half of the set with unreleased music. When are we tasting the juice? <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> like when are you releasing them? <laughs> okay, uh, so the Power of Vancouver remix is next. Whoa. Then I'll have an EP on a very nice label where I had the first uh, catalog number on. Little hint. Um... Yeah, so this year, but not everything. Mm. <laughs> really lo looking forward to the Power of Okuba yeah, remix. Me too. I saw him watching live the live stream. I, I amazing, saw artist, <laughs> amazing artist, amazing um, artist. What's the one thing you always procrastinate on as an artist? Mm -hmm. Going to the studio. Yeah, really? Yeah. And then when I go, it's fine, but mm. <laughs> I need some pressure. That, that's what I said with the live. It was nice to have the pressure. Yeah. Because then I was like, okay, now I have to do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. okay, I understand. And I also uh, read on the post you um, mentioned that uh, you really like love our productions. Mm. And um, first of all, I, w I wanted to ask uh, how you discovered Earth, us, which we track, and what do you like the most about Circle? Mm -hmm. So basically, I don't really know what was the first Circle I have seen, but I can remember the ones with uh, with mind against the first one mm. and which one was the biggest for me so far i cannot tell because the productions are always nice in their own way and what was the second part of the, the question? second question what 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 do you like the ah, most about your yeah i mean the consistency is nice like mm. that you always have a very nice uh, selection of the the uh, of, of the places And I like the fact that you did it before the pandemic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, the production is just amazing. Everything is amazing. Now I met you and you are all amazing. No, oh, thank you so I'm much. I'm looking forward to the next days. <laughs> yeah. We will have a pool party in the hotel. Yeah, <laughs> maybe, nice. maybe. But no, no, no. We won't have a pool party. No, no, no. It's forbidden. <laughs> so I'm looking forward to have some dinner and lunch yeah, with yeah. you. <laughs> um, yeah, you were amazing too, I must say. <laughs> thank you. Um, So now the mystery box, it's a little gift we, we offer. It's a little tradition as, uh, at Circle. And uh, King of Justin Mayer will uh, give you this, oh, wow. this box, this I little gift. Oh. Here it is. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much. Thank you. you can <laughs> Thanks. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. Shall I open? Yes, why not? Uh, it's here. Postcards. Okay, nice. Yeah. Some very nice post postcards. Yeah. You can have a look at them. Good. 
straight up this track. Oh, nice. Is it your family? Yes. I mean, it's my family and uh, it's uh, like old pictures of uh, the Jaisalmer city. Nice. Wow. This is already really amazing. <laughs> nice. And this? Or not say this? That's just... Uh, that's just some stone carvings on Jaisalmer stone, which you only get here. Sounds very nice. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> and now? And this is like so many gifts. Yeah. This is like a scarf, and it's uh, ancient Adrak uh, textile wow. from this region. Thank you so much. Don't know what to say. <laughs> wow. It's, it's, very, beautiful. it's very beautiful. Wow. <laughs> Thank, thank you. you so much, guys, for watching. Also, uh, thank you uh, to our partners. Thank you to Simbal. Thank you to Jaiselcott Hotel. Thank you to Simba um, for supporting us. Thank you to the King of Just yeah. and Mayor. Thank, thank you to our production team. Thank you to all our media partners. Thank you to everyone, uh, the camera team. Mathieu, thank you. He's holding a three kilograms camera for one hour and a half. <laughs> thank you, Paul, for the live editing. Thank you, Phil, for... I I mean, thank you, everyone. Um, we'll ha you'll have all the name on the screen. And see you next time, maybe very soon. So stay tuned. Bye-bye.